Hey, what's up, everybody? We are back. Educational Monday. We're going to get right into it. I've been waiting to do this one for a while, but I didn't want to scare everybody and freak them out, so I held off on this one. But here it is. We're going to talk about questioning all. Okay, this comes from a line of thought of first principle thinking. We'll get into that in a different video. We don't have time right now to explain everything. Let's just start questioning everything in our industry. You ready? Let's go. Foam rolling. Okay, so that everybody swung this way. You have to foam roll pre-workout because it, you know, decreases adhesions and da-da-da-da-da. As we know, probably none of that's true. Let's keep moving on. Tall A skips, B skips, acting like you're a robot on the track in the field, not effective for athletes. Yet we were preached this forever into our field from the track and field gurus. They told us we had to do it this way because maybe they did it that way. I don't even know if they actually did it that way. <clears throat> um, question it. Why are you so tall? Why do you have to get into these A and B skip positions for track warm-ups and speed warm-ups? Question it. I don't do that. Breathing. Why is everybody breathing through their belly? I'm pretty sure your lungs are up here in your chest. I've talked about this on other presentations before. Yet you're going to breathe through your belly to be an athlete and perform at the highest level. Question that. Why? Why would you breathe through your belly? We've talked about this a million times. Olympic weightlifting, amazing sport. I do it as a recreational hobby for fun sometimes. My athletes do not need to perform these movements to express power. Question that. Question the studies. Yes, I get it. They're validated. However, you are using a barbell because it's easy to quantify the numbers. We know that. Use other means and methods as well, though, for your athletes. This is not the end-all, be-all for power expression. You know that. Question it. 300-yard shuttle for football conditioning literally makes zero sense. Most of us know that in the industry now, but we're still teaching it to the younger, like, undergrads and interns for some reason. Not sure why. Um, I'm not sure which play in football lasts between, like, 40 seconds and a minute. I haven't seen one yet that lasts that long, a full-out intensity. Um, makes no sense. Let's design conditioning elements to replicate what we need for our sport. Okay, question that. Powerlifting. Powerlifting is not the only way to get strong. Okay, you don't even need to be this strong to sprint fast, to be a good offensive lineman, etc. Skill is way more important. We know that. Question some of these methods. Do you need to box squat your athletes? Because Louis Simmons said so. Question this. Force plate driven data and testing. Hello, I don't have the means and the ability to purchase these. That doesn't make me a worse coach, okay? Don't let the higher ups try to tell you, oh, you don't have force plate data. <laughs> That's not a good assessment then for your athletes. Okay, well, if I had the extra thousands of dollars, maybe I would buy these and look into them. But maybe, because that's vertical jump. Hello, I'm more interested in movement efficiency. And I know you're going to tell me there's all these algorithms that show things. That's fine, but I'm still going to question you. Always question it. Okay, let's end on this one here. Sprinting. We have to punch the ground to sprint faster. We have to punch the ground to produce more force to, to sprint faster. Question that. How come it can't be technique-based? We know in other sports, technique rules, right? Every sport. Name a sport. Oh, technique rules. You already know that. I know that. How come in sprinting, it has to be punch the ground harder is the only way to accelerate faster? Question that. Okay? And boom. That's it. Those are a few questions for you, right? All of these are trends in our industry. If it's a trend in our industry, you have to start questioning it. Okay? That's the take-home message. All right? Have fun with this one.